Hi, and welcome to Wrong Way. And today, we are... What are we doing? Today, it's teardown time. The teardown of the Bigodi EXN. So, let me tell you more about it. Wrong Way. Big thanks to my e-wheel for providing me this wheel for testing purposes and also big thanks to Miechu for helping me with the disassembly of this wheel. The Bigodi EXN rides really awesomely, like it accelerates so nicely, it has so much power and torque, but with the recent issues with quality at Bigodi, I, I just had to make a teardown of uh, this wheel, especially that there was some sort of like silicone dangling on the inside and there was a lot of dust recently in the unboxing. So yeah, we'll have to do that first, as you can see, we removed the panels with hex keys and now we are removing the outside covers of the wheel with regular Phillips heads. The tire alignment was also not the best and I couldn't really align it well so later on you'll also see how we changed the tire to a hide now uh, tire which is just a different tire. Uh, not sure if, if I'll leave it there as I saw it later on in the wheel but nevertheless you'll see also how we changed the tire. Here you can see the pretty big dust buildup after only 150 kilometers and I forgot to mention the outside screws are threaded with Phillips heads which are actually not that bad. Here are the beefier XT90 plugs and fuse and both shells are held together with hex screws which is also pretty good. Here you can see how we disconnect the XT90 plug which has a fuse inside. Uh, but I don't recommend working on your wheels on your own, better send it to a professional. However, we already disassembled a couple of wheels, so that's why we are also doing that. So right now the motherboard doesn't have any power supply and we also press the on off button for a second to let the capacitors discharge. And now we proceed to open up the other side of the wheel. The other side of the wheel looks really clean. Uh, probably the only thing I would like to add is some additional protection for both battery packs. But other than that, pretty clean, really looks good. We also found an interesting part here in the bottom. Not really sure what it is, but we'll take a closer look later on. We also removed the six hex screws that are connecting the body to the L hangers on both sides. Then we proceeded to remove the Phillips head screws that are holding the motherboard in place. And keep in mind that these are just screws destined for wood that are screwed into the plastic. And whilst there are techniques to screw them in nicely, I just want threads there. Like it's just basically six screws holding the motherboard in place. And for example, the outside shell has threads, so this would be better. Another thing I really dislike all in all in Bigodi wheels is that our, all compartments are also connected with each other. Just air is flowing freely and possibly water or dust throughout the whole body, which is good for ventilation, but not in case of something going wrong. So I think the motherboard definitely should have a cover and possibly the holes for cables should also have some additional isolation. Now we are removing the three phase cables for the motor with marking which one went where. And we also remove an additional cable which is just uh, connected to the motherboard. There's a lot of silicone on this connection, which is good, but, but it also makes it a bit more difficult to remove the connector. Then we proceeded to remove the dust cover on the bottom since the screws holding the motherboard together are underneath that cover. The ginormous heatsink is pretty nice. On the left you can see a mesh which I actually put in myself to stop water ingress on this wheel. But then we saw it. A lot. A lot of dust. Yes, it turns out that from factory, Gotway or Bigodi just absolutely f***ed up the placement of the seal underneath the motherboard. So dust and water could get in through small slits around the uh, hole which is destined for cooling down the heatsink 
which is oh my god it is so bad like oh my god my, i have just no words for it like you can't even ride a wheel now in the rain without first opening up from bigoti it's it's really bad That said, I still want to review this wheel, so we proceeded to clean up the inner shell area and put some silicone underneath the heatsink of the motherboard. Then we proceeded to remove the wheel with the L hangers from the shell, which is fairly easy, uh, you just need to slide it out. Taking a look at the wheel well, I do think that it's a bit more reinforced than the RS. You can also see the speakers there on the right. And here is also the heatsink of the motherboard. Now, <laughs> well sealed with the silicone, you can see it on the edges. But another thing I don't like that much uh, about the Gotway technique of assembly is that wooden screws are actually protruding out into the wheel well, uh, which is just not a good idea metal sticking out water no like and they actually put small spacers underneath the motherboard so if you forget to put them in you just rip through the thread and then a screw is sticking out even more like this was obviously our mistake but it's really easy to just destroy these threads because there is no thread it's just plastic I also decided to put some goth tape on top of all this metal. Probably won't do much, but I feel a bit better about myself. After that, we proceeded to change the tire and then reassemble the EXN. In conclusion, it's really bad. Like, if you ordered a Gotway recently, probably it's the best to open it up and check for some possible dust ingress or other issues before you take it out in the rain or better not take it out into the rain at all and yeah just regularly f just do check on your wheel to see if it's still performing well and it's just so baffling to me that right of out of the factory there's like mistakes which are just so so easy to mitigate through quality assurance other than that, when it comes to just the construction of the wheel, it's pretty straightforward to disassemble and reassemble it, which is nice. I see progress in their parts that are using, like the fuse, the plugs, um, also the screws are actually getting better, but they just need to not use these wood screws anymore. Like. It's just bad. You you need to open up the wheel sometimes and for reusing screws you need threads. I'm still waiting for separation of compartments, better waterproofing, also better plastics, better materials like, you know, the roll cage on the Sherman and yeah, better quality assurance. Oh yeah, and here's the part we found earlier. Comment below what you think it is. <laughs> So with that said, if you're still here, leave a like on the video, subscribe to see more content like this. I'll see you in the next video. See you soon.